The next skater, one of the youngest in the competition, 13 year old Anya Ivanovic. I really enjoyed the development when we were in Lithuania at a Junior Grand Prix. I've seen these young skaters coming up. Some great work being done there. And we'll skate to Assassin's Tango. <laughs> Now, Mark, I want to say something here. So it's interesting when you watch as many juniors as you're going to see <laughs> this year. You'll start here, and I'm sure you already do that. You're very similar to me this way. I look past what I just see here to see the abilities and the talents. And let me just say something about this young woman. I've watched her in practice today. She has beautiful technique in this triple lutz. Didn't deliver it here. Really frustrated in practice today. So that frustration, emotion, took over and didn't allow her to do what she was capable of doing, right? So this is not a skater who has bad technique or is a poor skater. It's a skater who has not yet learned to control the emotions with the energy required. So I saw some really nice skills and I like this girl skating. I feel frustrated for her because it's in her. She just doesn't know how to get it yet. And, and uh, you have that 
perspective and wisdom over so many years, Ted. The judges can't reward. Like, here, that loose. It's a good quality triple. Beautiful, loose. beautiful triple. Um, but then there, after that, obviously, the, you that carries through to a, a series of double jumps, which you can see there, the openness in that first double toe is a strong indication of the fact that she's clearly comfortable and capable of doing triples. No question. And I, the judges have to judge what they see. They will. You'll see, we reflect that in those scores. What I'm saying is that this girl's not far from jumping those scores a long ways, but she has to get emotional control to be able to just execute what she's capable of doing in the practice all the time. It's so, so true. And you just have to hope that then she will be made aware. When, she, when the score comes up now, understandably, Anya would be frustrated at what she sees. That said, hopefully she'll be able to listen to this and have the support knowing that you know, we, we appreciate and respect that there's a lot more capable coming from this young skater. Agna, we can see this in you. We know it's there. You're not quite sure how to bring that out yet. Just keep working at it. You'll discover it because there's some real skill and ability here and some strength. And for me, actually, she chose some interesting spin features. The windmill illusion at the end in the combination spin and the forward eye spin is really, really difficult. So some stuff that I think few, if any, of the skaters will choose to do in the spins she's capable of. Yeah, if you dig deep, you can see that skill there. Lots of work yet to do, of course. Let's take a look at the scores. 53.93, that's second in the free program so far for Agna. And of course, she's going to be disappointed, no question. But dig deep inside because you have something you just have to continue to discover and develop with patience and determination.